I'm John Julian, I'm the Vehicle Sales Manager at SEM Fire and Rescue in Ballarat, Victoria. SEM is one of Australia's largest specialist vehicle manufacturer with over 60 years of experience. We're here to take delivery of this um, Pino truck at SEM. Uh, they've just built it for us and they've uh, been introducing us to the vehicle. We were originally contacted by the uh, SES, asked whether we'd be interested in supplying a uh, similar vehicle to the Victorian SES. We're always looking at what other states are doing and um, they uh, have a similar industry to us and similar needs. We identified that their um, specialist rescue vehicles built on the, the Hino sh cab chassis was um, suited our needs and um, they put us in touch with SEM. A great vehicle, it's fit for purpose, uh, it suits the requirements of the customers and also we get great support and backup with regards to the product. We get involved with the engineers or the fleet managers from emergency services at a fairly early stage. They can access us for technical information. They also pull on our experience from dealing with other agencies around the country. So the attributes of the truck is it's working with people like Tom, getting the best vehicle, getting that support from the OEM and uh, building that platform so the end customer has a product that they want and it is fit for purpose and they need. This vehicle introduces some additional features which weren't available on our previous vehicles. Uh, firstly, it's dual cab, allows the crew all to travel to the scene together, talk about the job ahead of them. The automatic Allison gearbox on it is going to make it easier to drive, which is important for us as a, uh, a volunteer emergency services. The older truck never had the safety features such as uh, the airbags or the ABS. This vehicle is unique, it's got a uh, built-in generator that's hooked up to the power takeoff so that um, when the PTO engages, it runs the special generator which provides 240 volt power. It's got a six metre mast on it, which allows us to put area lighting uh, up from the vehicle in a matter of seconds. The storage on it's gonna bring some great advantages. Firstly, um, all the equipment's gonna be visible as you open the lockers. That's our key, is to get that back right for the customers. Our most valuable asset is our volunteers. We can only reward them in so many ways, but to provide them with a, a, a vehicle such as this with all the, the built-in safety features, the ergonomics, it shows that they go home the way they come. Working with agencies like uh, the SES um, has, has given us, I guess, a greater insight into what they require. It's been really great. It's been, it's been interesting and it's been exciting and very rewarding too. We wanted a vehicle that's going to last us for 20 years. A vehicle we could build, put on the road and walk away and forget about it and just have minimal maintenance costs. We're confident this will do that. Um, we're confident that it's going to be reliable for its irregular use. Um, confident that we're going to be able to rock up to the shed. It hasn't been used for a week and now it's going to start. It's going to take us to the job. It's going to have the tools of the trade on the job. We're going to be able to do the job comfortably. We're going to be able to get home and um, satisfied with what we've done. Being able to support the emergency service sector in Australia with, with top line vehicles is, is, you know, it's something to be proud of. Until you physically see it and you, you touch it and say, yeah, it's all true, it's great. Um, nice shiny new truck, a great rescue module on the back. It's a bit overwhelming really. It makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. We made the right decision. Um, we're gonna be really pleased with this product. Uh, we can't wait to take it home and show everybody else because uh, they're gonna be as excited as we are.